in total we were 10 just to give one the application is already on play store the name of the app is quickie first issue we had was choosing color for the code part there was a lot of issues in technology you can solve 100 percent of all the problems Seriously. there was a project i worked on during the six month it the project did not work until the six month ended if you are building a website you yeah. can detail on html css and javascript that's for the front end and for the back end you can using like your php the name of the course is cryptography wow. it's a, yeah it's it's a lot and if you don't pay too much attention you can just be lost forever if you think you can do anything like that, nah, you're just deceiving yourself a graduate my name is oluwani femi ojini a cyber security founder level graduate about the application it's um it all started with when my friend who is now the president right. of um, nas right. he fell sick during the chicken box era yeah. and uh we wanted i wanted to get him food in the night and it was a little bit rusty it was everywhere was tied up right. i went to the two cafeteria but it was too full then at at the end i got the food but it, we don't know if what could have happened if we couldn't get the food that night. Mm -hmm. So while I was going back to the hostel, something kicked into me. I was like, okay, what if everybody in the school could have a way to know the available menus in the okay. school right on the spot? Wow. And you don't need to go to the cafeteria to stress yourself That's out. Impressive. So what if you could have it and after that, not just having the available menus, you could like order right on the spot. I started discussing with my roommates right. and when he came back I discussed it with him then we all started we started drawing out the plan right. and so far the application is already on play store as I'm speaking with you right now wow. yeah what is the, name? the name of the app is quickie okay. mean, meaning fast and all so uh, the inspiration was I'm not just saying anybody should fall sick, but yeah. when he fell sick, that's when he came. And wow. yeah, so far there have been challenges. There has been um, rejections from restaurants we've met. Okay, so the app is mainly built for restaurants. Or... Okay, the app is yeah. for students and also for restaurants. Right. Wow. There's a mobile application for the students and there's a website where the restaurants will be able to interact with the students. Right. So they can put in their menus and do every other thing wow. there. They can and order pretty yeah, order. Yeah, students can do that today. Right, okay. So, is it for only inside Elizabeth University or for different universities? The idea was better in Elizabeth University, but right. expanding, we have to move outside Elizabeth University. Okay. Because um, when we started, we met with restaurants in this school, but right. none of them were giving us green light. Okay. So we had to put a pause on it in Elizabeth University. Right. Now we're looking out to various other universities okay. out there who will be buying into the idea and want to use it to solve problems for their own students there okay. also. Is there any restaurant that is functioning with the app right now? Like no, a, not yet, okay. not yet. Not yet. But you can function. still download it. Yes, you can still download the app right. on Play Store. Link in the description. So how did you get started on the project, you know? Ah. <laughs> the challenges, the stumble, yeah, okay. the fall and rise. Maybe a group of people helped you in one in, in, in one way or the other in building the app. Yeah. yeah. And some ideas to come in, you know, keep all this together to form that one app. How did you go about it? Okay, at the very first start when I came into the room, then I told my roommates, they're like, yeah, 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 this is a very nice idea. Then everybody came together, we started looking, okay, how are we going to know which food the restaurant has in real time? What are the things we have to put in place that will also make students to be able to like the um, app and restaurant to be able to use it better? So the first issue we had was um, <laughs> choosing color. It's weird, wow. but choosing colors for the application wow. was actually an issue. We wanted to make sure the um, color was was appealable to the eyes mm -hmm. and uh, is not too bright. Mm -hmm. So when we found our right color, the design was the design was okay. We then we started writing the code, and for the code part, uh, there was a lot of issues. <laughs> Before we dive into the code part, you, you know the nature of this color of a thing. Yeah. How did you get inspiration? You know, some some colors have meaning. Yes, yeah, exactly. Do you have meaning in your colors, or you just choose this <laughs> randomly, or it's just like, like my friend, this is best color. You like, they just add it together. And yeah. Mix of primary colors give that you know shiny and brightly. 
color okay. that catches people. What we made sure to do is it has to resonate with food. So okay. we had to look into colors that um, not many mobile applications, food mm. mobile applications are using. Yeah. Okay. So when we chose the colors, first we our white is not white, <laughs> not right. that white white. Okay. And we also chose um, an orange color, but right. not too orange, not too bright orange. So okay. to look at it, you would have to resonate, okay, this is talking about food. Right. Then chose that and started using it too build the app wow, wow, wow. that looks impressive the very beginning uh, i would say i was not uh 100 good in uh, writing code i was just learning that was i was learning right. and when i started i started it, I, the first time i wrote the code was uh, april 24 2023 oh, that was wow. when that was uh, is it yeah 300 level 300 second level. semester oh, wow. so uh, it was in the night. I just sat down. We've already finalized how the design should look like. Right. Then I just sat down like, God, please help me. How will I do this? <laughs> then started with the login page, moved to uh, other authentication steps. Yeah. Then uh, as we started going, we started realizing that there are other things we'll be needing. Yeah. That instead of just um, writing for the design, All we right. also need someone to support it with back end. Yeah. So we looked at it we discussed and we also got a back-end engineer to help us out today right. and what, yes was he a student too? no 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 the back-end engineer wasn't a student okay. he was a freelancer outside okay. and um so far when we started writing the code we had meetings looking at okay so far this is where we've gotten on the app what can we add what can we remove what problems are we can we think of that the kitchen will face using this yeah so yes yeah we found those ones out but when the day finished and we came to school they gave us another extra problem wow <laughs> what, what, what type of problem is that uh, first uh, we were we were asked that how are we going to know if someone is using the app for fraudulent ways mm -hmm. uh, yeah and uh, that's quite an issue on our end though yeah. but we've done our own part which yeah. is making sure so if you are using the app we know it's you using the app mm -hmm. but like when the back-end engineer would always say is we say in technology you can solve 100 percent of all the problems secure, yes secure. you can only make sure it's 98 percent secure yeah. right. so uh, we're making sure our own 98 is 98 wow. and maybe we can add 99 to be 99 Wow, so, wow. That's I it. like that. <laughs> okay, how many people were involved in this okay. kind of project? Okay, in total we were ten. Yeah, wow. in total, yeah, we were ten. Just to build one. Application. So, what experience do you gain throughout your course in Lizard University? What experience do you gain? Okay, from my course, uh, in from my course, I used um, there's a CSC and CYB course that deals with them. Um, web application and development and then um, security wow. i used that in also framework in the web the mobile application wow. which it helped me out knowing the steps to okay. use in like software development cycle yes. to know okay this are uh, this is what i start with yes. the i know my requirements get the design make yes. sure keep testing 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 yes. yeah so uh, the course involved learning front end development back end development no, I wouldn't say that, but it's it's giving you the steps oh. on if you want to build something, this is what you should follow. It's right. like a framework so for it. Yes. Your purpose. All right. wow. So do you have any final project which you are working on or which you have already worked on? Yes. So uh, can you explain it for us? Okay, the aim of the project is to determine risk score right. that a cyber attack might have on right. a business. Right. So uh, what we used in the project or what I used in the project was a machine learning algorithm, Random right. Forest, right. that comprises of different decision trees right. of picking different decisions to know, okay, which when it sees this attack, which score would it give it to? Right. So in the project, when we test, when I tested it, uh in the machine learning using the machine learning model yes. uh, i got a 0, 0 0.0 mean squared error meaning that the uh, project and model is accurate and is yes. predicting well yes. so when i did that i gave it to my supervisor and yes. he said i can go ahead 
and yeah, the project is working well. Okay. No, I think like, someone has not done that type of thing. Yeah, so so it's for myself to tell you to go ahead immediately. Mm, that's impressive. Right. That's impressive. So what what actual problem does that project solve? Like, can I implement it in reality outside of the school? What kind of project can you? Do? Okay. What that project solves is mainly most um, businesses only use uh, when they want to know the risk um, a cyber attack would cost to them. They only use um, if they only get to know is the risk high, low, or medium, right. and that might be vague yeah. because uh, if you are just knowing that the risk is high, low, or medium, what if the low is not that actually low? Yeah. So. Um, what we what the project is to do is give you a risk score let's say based on one to five yes. if your risk score is three my name medium so you already know that once it's three this risk is a medium risk yes. and once it's one it's a low risk yes. so you know where to prioritize your resources in solving those attack all right that's impressive okay during your internships what was the best and epic one that you have heard and you have learned a lot from and it is environmentally friendly to other interns that come to the company. I'll say my 311 second semester uh, oh. did it at NITDA. Nice. Um, I think 300 level is something special. <laughs> Everyone yeah, just 300 level, 300 level. Wow. Yeah, okay. it gave me a long time to be able to know how um, programming actually works uh -huh. from my own end. Yes. Because uh, when I when I knew programming, I was like, okay, whether you just write it and it works, and if it doesn't work, you just leave it. But in, in programming, there's one thing you should always have patience. Your code might work today, might not work tomorrow. Yeah. So you have to be patient and look at every details of your code that you've written so because there was a project i worked on during the six month it uh the project did not work until the sixth month ended <laughs> and um the head there was like and anytime she comes she'll be like uh how far with it i'll be like ma i'm still on it he's taking a lot of time i'm trying to solve it then the day i solved it i'm telling you the joy in me i was like it's finally done. <laughs> so what project was that? Uh, it's working on um, a system. Uh, it's confidential, so I'll not be able to say it out. Right. Okay. How do you apply your theoretical knowledge to the project you did? One of it was um, the BAS 301. Right. That's research methodology. Right. They also helped me understand how to write projects, what projects really the small idea of what a project is yes. so uh, it gave me okay the table of content knowing okay this is how i should do it right. table it also some courses that i did in cyber security 200 level and also in 400 level also gave me an idea on okay this is the project i'm working on right. and some of them really mattered to the project wow. so that's crazy uh, so someone that wants to write a project now, I don't know if I want to write a project or maybe how to code a mobile app. So okay. if you want to present that project in written words, what are your little process that is in what the little basic methodology you need to follow in how to write source project? If you want to know the basic methods when you want to like write the project yes. for your let's say you are building uh what let's say news app. Okay. okay, for example, your methodology should focus on uh, the designs you used. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. let's say your design, why you chose your design, are they applicable to the eye? Yeah. And uh, how far can they, if you see it, is is this something you'd want to use? Yes. Okay. Okay, yeah, the uh, frameworks you used in writing the code yeah. or the programming languages you used, it's very essential so that someone who wants to also do that type of project yes. would not be looking too far. Yeah. would know okay you used this framework you used either react or you used html css javascript to do this mm. so you also in your methodology okay, you have to use one programming language mm, no not compulsory okay. for example if you are building a website you yeah. can detail on html css and javascript that's for the front end and for the back end you can use in like your php um, for server to be interacting with the server and the SQL for your database. Um, for mobile applications, there are frameworks out there that allows you to write um, code for Android and iOS instead of just writing native using Java or Swift. Uh, so you can use React Native for that. And also well, during, during this um, choosing of server, do you pay for servers? Yes, you do. Okay, you do. Okay. So what server do you use? Uh, you can you can use AWS. Uh, okay. You can use Hostinger. 
there is there are other out there are other more it is azure microsoft azure okay. but the main issue concerning those servers is you have to have a dollar card and they don't wow. collect virtual cards it's yes that's one of the main challenges we faced when we were working on our application wow. the dollar card yeah we had to outsource during the years like three years ago okay four years ago you have been in a university and this is the university what are the most happiest moments of your life uh happiest there are many happiest moments uh if is part of the memories i've had in this school uh one of them happened uh, i think this year it was when we had the opportunity to present during last week to present the applications we've worked on okay. and yeah it was actually great okay what of the saddest moment <sighs> So also, how has the Elizabeth University equipped you for the outside world? The connections I was able to have yeah. by coming to Elizabeth Day, yes. yeah, they've, they've made me know that uh, outside world is not, is not, is not like school. That is um, in a circle. Nah, it's different. And when you get outside, you need a lot of people to roll with. You can't yes. do anything on your own. Yeah, exactly. So if you think you can do anything on your own, nah, you're just deceiving yourself. So how do you raise your facilities in Elizabeth Day University? On a scale of one to ten. A scale of one to ten. The ones that you used. Okay, the ones that I used. Uh, I read them six. What of your school as a whole? That rates the uh, you the, are doing school. The environment. Uh, everything. The environment is nice. The buildings. Top notch. Yeah. Top notch. Uh, <laughs> when you see the buildings in videos, you'll be like, yeah, top notch. And when you come here, it's the same thing. So. Reality. Uh, reality. That is impressive. That is wow. impressive. So, what courses actually gave you problem during your time in Asia University? Why you're in the world levels? What <laughs> courses gave you problem? That you would tell us that you should be aware of these courses and you should be for this kind of course. <laughs> uh, how do you overcome it? Danger line. <laughs> The name of the course is cryptography. cryptography. Wow. Yeah, it's it's a lot. What um, level? Four hundred level. Wow. Yeah, yeah. it's it had a lot of um, calculations and uh, there are some things when you see them, you just you just be blown away. Just like, mm. and if you don't pay too much attention, you can just be lost forever. Thank you for having you on this interview. Thank you guys for having me too. Very exciting moment to have you here. Appreciate your attention and your time. We'll see you again. We'll see you again. Convocation. You are coming for convocation? Yes, sir. No more. See you guys there. See you guys there.